This Italian company has been handcrafting classic pizza ovens since 1892. While the tile or paint options change over time, the construction of the oven itself has remained the same for four generations. It begins with the oven's rounded top. They lay clay bricks on a dome form, working inward from the steel edge. These bricks are made in-house. They can withstand temperatures of over 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's fast enough to bake a traditional Neapolitan pizza in just 60 seconds. They combine sand, soil, concrete, clay, and water in a mixer. They pour this mixture into a steel mold for the base of the oven. Once they've filled the mold to the top, they place a circular template in the exact center of the mold. Then they begin constructing the oven's combustion chamber. This is where the pizza is baked. They carefully place clay bricks along the template's inner perimeter. Then they remove the template and add more bricks. They work from the outside in towards the center. The oven floor serves as the cooking surface. It's comprised of four pie-shaped pieces made of the same heat-resistant clay as the bricks. Each piece is two inches thick. They slide the floor in temporarily so they can correctly position the bricks around it. They remove the floor pieces and begin mortaring the bricks. Once complete, this oven will weigh over 5,000 pounds. The company makes even larger models that can weigh more than three tons. They lay a second row of bricks on top of the first. Then they fill the middle with clay. The team covers the clay with soil. They pack down the soil as they go to create a hard, stable surface. Now they can permanently install the oven floor. Next, they position the oven's cast iron mouth. They lay bricks in a circle around the mouth to form the wall of the combustion chamber. They lay most of the bricks vertically to fit in as many as possible. More bricks will provide better insulation in the chamber. The team pours water on the top edge of the wall. They remove the oven mouth and apply the mortar. Then they lower the dome onto the wall to enclose the combustion chamber. A worker repositions the mouth and mortars it in place. He installs the over mouth, a cast iron plate bearing the manufacturer's name. He levels it then fills the gap between the mouth and the oven floor with plaster. They also use plaster to create a smooth surface on top of the mouth. Now the smoke will rise through the hood toward the chimney instead of being trapped in the oven. They position steel side plates and weld them to the over mouth. Then they weld on a curved steel front plate. Next, they construct a funnel-shaped stainless steel hood. They fill the hood with the same mixture they used for the oven's base. They cover the dome with wire mesh to compact the mix. Then they apply a final coat of the mixture. A worker lays a cast iron plate on the base, directly in front of the mouth. He spreads a smooth finishing layer of concrete on both the dome and the base. Then they paint the steel and cast iron parts with anti-corrosion paint. They install marble on the base and apply paint or tile to the dome. They mount the oven steel door last. They fire up the oven for nine days to dry all the natural construction materials. Then this oven is complete.